Mm. I know. That. So that's what we call pre-implantation genetic testing, and it's mm. one of the main things I studied about in Oxford. Mm -hmm. So with that, if I'm AS and I want my partner is also AS, and we are married, mm -hmm. what do we do? Do we separate? Mm. What happens to the children? Um, what What do we do if we don't want to have? babies mm -hmm. who would inherit sickle cell disease and maybe we have one child who is already suffering mm -hmm. so especially in the developed world the uk actually depending on where you live you can have as high as three free ivf that's in vitro fertilization mm -hmm. and pre-implantation genetic testing cycles done for you so what See. that does is that um, it's covered by the national health and mm -hmm. nhs so with that, they take the woman's egg, they will mm -hmm. give you some medications, then it helps produce more eggs. Mm. Then they, they take the eggs, mm. and then the man too, he produces some sperm, then we bring it together and fertilize it at the IVF mm. lab. Then the embryos that are formed around day five, which is the optimum mm -hmm. day to do that, you take a small sample of the embryo and there are so many cells so it really doesn't affect the embryo in any way if it's done by a professional in an aspect then you take a small sample then you test it to see does this embryo have sickle cell disease or not if the embryo doesn't have sickle cell disease then you know you are good to go yeah. to transfer it into the woman's womb so it's the same process that's done for people if they're having fertility issues. issues the only thing is that we are going a step further mm. where we test the embryo for sickle cell there are families who have hypertension diabetes and all of these mm -hmm. conditions can be tested in the embryo but do, do we and have that in ghana we have ivf pgt in ghana but mm -hmm. the tests are not done here in ghana but we are still providing it for mm. patients it's expensive that's the issue so it's part of the main reasons why i went to oxford i'm like wait if we have this preventive method mm -hmm. and there are couples who are married and they don't want their children to have it right. i can afford it as a doctor i am as and i found out that my 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 ex was also as mm -hmm. if we were married and we had to go for that option i could afford it but what happened to the market woman Mm -hmm. What happens to other people whose salaries? And mm -hmm. have we even thought of low cost um, mm -hmm. measures, mm -hmm. preventive measures, curative measures, mm -hmm. and low cost treatment options for people with sickle cell disease? Mm -hmm. And I realized that the issue with sickle cell is so big. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if you want something to be done, you have to do it yourself. Yes. So that's where all of this passion for sickle cell started because mm. a friend of mine died from sickle cell disease, aside mm. my, uncle. my uncle. And I didn't think that friend should have died. Mm. He died at the age of 28 years. In the hospital, the doctor who took care of him was very intelligent. Mm. He was the best graduating student. But the doctor thought sickle cell management, when a patient comes in very mm. ill, is hydration 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 that was his words to mm. us and i witnessed my friend speak normally and then after some time i could hear this gurgling sound of fluid mm. in his throat i'm like i think you're giving my friend too much fluid can you come mm. and check and i need to say this because there was this story that i read on a medical school page mm -hmm. of a cuban doctor mm -hmm. who has sickle cell disease and he died mm. And the doctor said, um, in Cuba, the doctor said, you know, I've worked for so many years in the field. I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. and all that. And mm -hmm. sometimes... It happens all the time. Yeah, it's not only sickle so cell. even question them. Yeah, it's not only sickle cell. Sometimes I need to plead to as medics and even in our workplaces, let's listen to one another because sometimes pride yeah. kills Set, people. Yeah. Pride can <laughs> cause someone to die mm -hmm. because when we spoke to that doctor he mm. was like do you know what sickle cell is it's mm -hmm. hydration and he ignored whatever we said and she ended up dying long story my roommate comes back in medical school she comes back to the room at 5 a.m she was like mary joseph is gone i'm like gone mm. where and then she said he's dead and i'm like 
Okay. It, it was it was it, a very it was, sad moment yes, for you. Right? Yes. But let, let's talk about the. But I need to mm -hmm. say this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that doctor is a good doctor. Right. He had not received the needed education on sickle cell, on sickle cell management. Right. So you you only do what you know to your possible mm. best. Mm. Okay. If you don't know it, there is little nothing, you can. Yeah you can you can do so that's why education is very important not education for just the public mm -hmm. but even education for Doctors. and there's a lot that i need to learn as well and right. i'm always learning every day right. but we start from somewhere. somewhere we all need to be educated about sickle cell to save lives of course let's yeah. talk about the complications hmm. <laughs> with the complications of sickle cell disease i always say it can affect the human body from head to toe. Mm. Um, there are children who are living with stroke from sickle cell disease. Yeah. There are, there's this um, patient who came to me in the clinic and she said, Doc, I didn't know SC, especially those who have SC, can mm. do this to me because she's losing her vision. And mm. there are those who have gone blind from sickle cell. Sickle it's called cell. sickle cell retinopathy. Sometimes I know a patient, she'll be walking in town, then all of a sudden she goes blind. And she has to remember the closest thing she saw in mm. terms of like a safe place to stand or sit. Mm. Then after some time, she then regains the, her she regains vision. Eye. Everyone experiences sickle cell disease differently. Mm -hmm. So some have very severe symptoms and some have um, symptoms which are and they are able to live their normal life. But I need to say that sickle cell is not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. And now, if you take your medications, you go for review, mm -hmm. you take good care of yourself, you have a supportive community, you can live a very long life mm -hmm. and a healthy life. And I'm happy to say that at Kolebu, the Ghana Institute of Clinical Genetics, mm -hmm. their oldest patients with sickle cell is 98 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And there are those who are in their 80s, their 70s at the clinic. So you can live a long life with sickle cell if you take good care of yourself. So aside the visual disturbances that they have, they can have heart issues, mm. they can have um, pain, the pain, pain which I mentioned, that. the bone pain. They can have, I know a patient who is with my NGO mm. and, and we did a scan for her and we found out that she doesn't even have a spleen anymore. A mm. spleen is an organ in the abdomen. Right, Doc, 